I feel like new. I feel so new with this. Oh my goodness. Yes, I'm super excited. <laughs> What is up? If you are new to my channel, my name is Ashika Lee. Welcome. And if you are a returning subscriber, thank you so much for tuning in to get another video. As you guys can tell by the title, this will be another Get Ready With Me. I'll be sharing with you guys the products that I use on my face and um, they are all affordable, which, oops. And they are all affordable, which is always a steal, which is always a good thing. So yes, I use all affordable and some drugstore products as well to get this beat, y'all. I have a red lip. I have a red lip. Y'all know this is new for me. Not new, but you know, it's different. I normally go with my nude lips, but I want it to be a little bold today because you know, I'm wearing all black, so why not? I also share with you guys my outfit and everything and where I got that from and as well as these pieces that I'm wearing. So yeah, without further ado, let's just jump right into the video. Hey everybody, so we're just gonna jump right into the makeup. Right now we are starting off with the brows and I am using the ColourPop pencil in the shade black and brown and I'm just filling in my eyebrows with this. This is all I've been using on my brows. I feel like I haven't touched another brow product in so long, you guys. This is literally all I've been using. I love this, it gives me that natural look and it's not too heavy at all. So I've really just been using this on my brows constantly, literally every time I do my makeup. And it works very well for me. It stays on throughout the whole entire night and it's not too dark, not too heavy, very light and natural. And that's always the look I'm going for with my brows. So now I'm going in with the Too Faced Concealer. And this is in the shade Tan. And I'm just going ahead and carving out the bottom of my brows. I've kind of been avoiding carving out the top part of my brows only because I feel like it adds more of a harsh look to the brows. And I've, like I said, been trying to keep it real natural. So carving out the bottom still keeps it very clean and still look like we did something, but it doesn't look too forced. So that's something that I've been doing. You know and you guys know I haven't been doing much with my eyes lately and especially with a red eye I just feel like you don't need a lot going on because the red is already bold so you don't need to do too much with the eyes so right now I'm going in with the setting powder the Laura Mercier in the shade honey and I'm just going to apply some of that powder over top of my eyes to set the concealer in place so that you know it's a uh, bare canvas and nothing is moving and I'm also taking that powder and I'm applying it over my nose and just a little bit over my entire face because you know we have to wear masks now so we want everything to pretty much set in place and I went in with the Smashbox primer water and now the Too Faced hangover primer the best duo ever you guys i love this duo together and my mac strobe cream i use my mac strobe cream daily okay and now that i pretty much primed my face i'm going in with the eyeliner and i'm using the tardius pro eyeliner honestly guys if i had my nyx eyeliner then i would have used that i'm not really a fan of this eyeliner so um i do recommend using the nyx matte liner it, it's just 10 times easier i just love it so much and i just wanted to do like a very small wing i'm not really a wing girl but i don't know i feel like wing and a bold lip goes together effortlessly and right now i'm just popping my lashes on make sure that that lash stays on okay so now onto the face. I'm going in with the Laura Mercier Infallible What? <laughs> the L'Oreal Infallible Pro Matte Foundation. It's been forever since I've used this foundation. I feel like this is one of my first um, foundations and I love it. I forgot how good it was. Um, my face was so smooth and this is any shade Classic Tan. And I'm just using that with my buffer brush and just dragging it down on my neck. And then for concealer, I'm going in with the Maybelline Concealer. I actually had another bottle, so just ignore how empty this one was. I had I had a re-up, okay? <laughs> so 
I also applied the Too Faced concealer over top of um, the Maybelline just to like tone it down a little bit because I feel like the Too Faced is maybe like one shade darker, but you probably can't even tell. So I am using my e.l.f. sponge to blend out my concealer underneath my eyes. And this is all I've been using to blend out my concealer, you guys. I actually went ahead and bought two more of these um beauty blenders like they are that good it's so soft and it's so like you can move it you know you can form it into the shape that you want to get right up underneath those eyes and right in the crease of your eye it just fits well and i love it so much so i definitely recommend them and they were only like four or five dollars and now I'm going in with some cream contour. This is the LA Pro Girl Concealer. And it's been forever since I pulled anything from LA Girl out, y'all. And I don't know. This kind of took me back to how popping LA Girl Concealer is. This, this contour was hitting, okay? It felt so good to um, finally get back into doing the cream contour because I have not done cream contour in how long? months child months so right now i'm going in and i am using the laura mercier um powder and we're just setting our concealer because we have to you know the key to doing your makeup you have to set your um cream products with a powder you have to you have to you have to and with that being said, because we use cream contour, we have to set that with powder. And I am using the NYX Matte Bronzer in the shade Deep Tan. And I'm just chiseling out these cheekbones because we want that contour to be shining. Not shining, but you know, you want to you see it, okay? You don't want it to look too bold, but you want to see it. And I'm also taking the shade on the sides of my nose. And now we're going to set our face with the Mario Badescu spray. This is the green tea one. And then going in with the Continuous Setting Mist by Morphe. By far one of my favorite setting mists ever, you guys. I love this so much. And next onto the eyes. Um, I just use a wet and wild eyeliner in my waterline. I feel like with wing liner, you need to wear eyeliner. Maybe not need to because Nicki Minaj does a great job without you know the eyeliner but for me i feel like it's just a necessity so for blush i went in with the fit me blush and we're just gonna dab 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 and i usually od with the blush but i feel like it came out pretty well and then for highlight we're going in with the fancy beauty highlighter and I like to just dust this over the top of my cheeks, my nose, cupid's bow, chin, and forehead. And I just feel like highlighter just completes the look in a way that nothing else does. <laughs> love, love, love it. And then we're going to set our face again with the Urban Decay All Nighter Setting Spray. And yeah, we got to draw our face in some water. All right, so now for the lips, I am going in with the NYX lip liner in the shade brown. I feel like you guys will not see me use another lip liner. I'm just not one to pay an overpriced amount for a lip liner when all of them are literally the same thing. I'm just not doing it. So y'all gonna see me use these NYX, these NYX uh, lip liners, okay? And now I'm gonna go in with the Maybelline Superstay Crayon. So. This is my first time using the crayon from Maybelline. Um, my opinion of it, I actually love it. It was just kind of, just make sure that your lips is dry. But for me, I don't like matte lips. So I had Carmex underneath it. Pretty hard to actually, you know, get the color on without um, having to go over it multiple times or missing a few spots. As y'all can see, like right there in my lip, it just wasn't happening. But don't worry, we fixed it. And I was so nervous, but I was just like, she could just go ahead and do it. Just do it. So I took my scarf off. And right now, I am just going in and fixing up my baby hairs. I love baby hairs so, so, so much. But I really just love when they look very natural. And I just love when, I don't know, it just, when it's natural, it looks the best. 
that's just my preference i like when my baby hairs are soft not hard And that's pretty much all I did with my hair. My hair was already done. Um, I installed it off camera and I just straightened it out. Um, this hair is actually from my collection and it's a wig. I don't do sew-ins on my hair at all. I don't have time for that, okay? So your girl is always wearing wigs because they're just more convenient for my lifestyle. I switch my hair up so often that it's just more convenient to have a wig on. And yeah, y'all, I'm just trying to touch up these baby hairs, make sure they looking right. And then we're just going to comb throughout the hair. And I haven't worn straight middle part hair in so long, but I really just love the way everything turned out. And now we are going to jump into the outfits. The shirt is from Fashion Nova. Pants are from Pretty Little Thing. Shoes are from Fashion Nova. Have this cute little lace-up detail. Love it. Yes, that's the outfit for tonight. I read in my last comments that you guys wanted me to do. You guys wanted to see me in the outfit. So I'm in the outfit, okay? How y'all like it? <laughs> All right, so for the jewelry, you guys saw the outfit already. For the jewelry, I got these clothespin earrings from Forever 21. I just feel like they are so cute, so different. And I got this A necklace from, I don't remember, but it was a site online. You guys can find these anywhere. And yeah, thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you all enjoyed it. If you did, you know what to do. Give this video a thumbs up, subscribe to your girl's channel. Why not join the fam? And, you know, I have some more videos dropping soon. I promise to be more consistent. And that's what I'm trying to do. So, um, yes, thank you guys so much for the support already. And y'all just rock with me. Rock with me, okay? Just rock with me. And I appreciate it so much. Y'all, this, this, this red lip right now is very new. But I don't know. I like it. This might be my new little signature. What y'all think? Leave a comment down below if you guys like the red lip. Or the nude lip just let me know which one you guys prefer on me i don't know y'all i'm feeling this okay <laughs> before we go today's motivational quote is don't let the negative late night thoughts consume you focus on god and not what the enemy is trying to deceive you with and with that being said i will see you all in my next video bye